Hello, hello there and welcome back to Napalm's News News. Today we have another hero of Chutland, the HMS Invincible. Just like the HMS Dreadnought, the HMS Invincible was the very first ship of its type. It was the very first battlecruiser ever. It was uh, beginning to be built in 1906 and then uh, finished and commissioned in 1908. And obviously it took part in the Battle of Chutland, where then in one of the more subtle ironies, the old the oldest battlecruiser on the field, the HMS Invincible, fought the newest or latest battlecruiser, the German SMS uh, Lützau. And basically the HMS Invincible killed the Lützau from the grave. Because the Lützau received some hits to the torpedo rooms, which caused progressive flooding, but then struck one of the turrets with the magazine of the HMS Invincible and it, ba it basically blew up and split in half, sank really rapidly with huge losses to the crew. But the progressive flooding on board of the SMS Lützau caused it to go deeper and deeper in the water and at some point in the night fight, I guess, uh, it turned out that the screws has actually have actually uh, been out of the water and it was not possible to rescue the ship therefore the crew was taken off board and then the SMS Lützer was sank by uh, the Germans from torpedo strikes from their own ships so obviously after the crew has been largely rescued so the thing is the subtle irony is here that the oldest battlecruiser was killed by the latest battlecruiser after giving it a fatal blow in the first place. And it kind of shows the difference in the approach, but the vulnerability to actual capital grade firepower still being there. Now what is the ship in War Thunder? First of all, it is in quintessence a cruiser with the appropriate armor and speed, so it's very fast, has some proper armor um, for a cruiser type, but battleship guns. And in, in a nutshell, you can obviously read the dev blog for yourself, link in the video description down below, as well as the links to some videos from Drakinifel about the Battle of Chutland and also about the five minute guide of this ship, the extended five minute guide that is. So what we have here is a ship that is, um, well, very well equipped for a cruiser with four twin 12 inch guns or 305 millimeter cannons. This is serious firepower. However, there are some downsides to it. You might see it here in this picture. We have some echelon arrangement of the turrets, which allows in theory for cross deck firing. In practice, the angles are rather limited. I think for engagements in War Thunder, it's a bit better firing to the right than to the left. And um, then you expose still a pretty big broadside. And that is a problem because uh, first of all, your secondaries are not that great, uh, so no 6-inch guns, not even 5-inch guns. And, um, well, you only have 152mm armored belt, and yes, the turrets are a bit better by an inch, but it's also not the world's greatest difference. So, um, you can actually receive damage from World War II cruisers. Just to give you a comparison, the Italian Zara heavy cruiser actually has 150, 152 millimeters of belt armor as well. And it has a much higher rate of fire and better firing angles for its eight inch guns. And they can, in theory, punch through your armor. So if you angle, you only can bring six, uh, six guns to bear. And the problem here is, if those guns are given the same reload as the British Dreadnoughts that we already have in the game, it's 40 seconds reload. So that's an abysmal reload and abysmal shells per minute. And as I said, the secondaries really don't help you. To have um, 12 uh, high caliber secondaries is nice, but you don't have them. You only have four inch guns. They don't have the range, the ballistics. They don't have the TNT bursting charge. They don't have the penetration. And yeah, anti-aircraft is all but existing. So yeah, I think the speed advantage that you have, if you think about the yesterday's announced um, von der Tann, you also can think about roughly 50 kilometers per hour, but it doesn't really matter. Patrol boats will still decide the outcome of the uh, domination game mode. Uh, you will be pretty good in encounter versus cruisers, but not 
invincible. You see what I did there. And um, there are so many battleships, especially the second generation of dreadnoughts. Think about especially the Russian ones. They just will one tap you. That's just what it is. And your DPM is lousy. And then that's before we talk about the revenge killing from bombers. And unlike dreadnoughts, you just don't have the deck armor. You don't have the survivability compared to a dreadnought. So I think it's iconic, it's cool, but for the gameplay, I don't expect any sort of miracles. Let's be honest here. Um, a cool ship, I will definitely play it once the patch comes out. And I can't wait for even more such ships in the game. And yeah, we need a rework of naval forces. Other than this, that has been the quick preview of the, or the realistic expectations from the Death server. That's it for me today. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I hope this little update video was helpful. Let me know in the comment section what you think about this ship and what you expect from the further development. And please give this video a like if it did. Subscribe if you want to see more. And we'll see each other on the battlefields in the skies and on the waves of War Thunder.